Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippy. I'm your host, Joseph Moore here. And please leave a like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Uh, review our podcast so we can start moving up in the ranking. Also with me, I have Jesse, David, and Dusty. He's back. Break his back. Yeah. He's alive. Yeah, I'm back. I, I mean, I missed like one thing, guys. I don't know why you're making such a big deal. No, dude, we, can, we can do without you. We're talking about Dusty. Dusty. Dude, you can't dude. do without my dulcet tones, whatever that word means. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and start oh. with David. Go ahead and uh, premiere yourself. Uh, it's DS Kamikaze, member of the Goon Squad. You can find me on YouTube and Facebook. Who's the leader of the Goon Squad? Oh, there no. Is no leader. Oh, no. The oh, Lord. Look, who's look in here. Oh, no. <laughs> Dusty, go ahead and promote if you'd like. What happened? Dusty. <laughs> Sorry. Why did Morgan leave? Uh, I said you I'm ahead on all your social. Day. Yeah, I'm on all social media. Uh, you know, Twitter, Facebook, oh, uh, Instagram, Twitch, with the same name, Dusty Day Day. Lastly, but not leastly, the guy with the longest promotion. We got Jesse. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Uh, um. Okay, uh, yeah, it's just me. Sorry, I was uh, trying to load something up. Uh, an interesting fact for today. The first person convicted of speeding was going 8 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, he was going 8 miles per hour. It was a guy named Walter Arnold in 1896. A... Was spotted well, going a... four times the speed limit in his 19th century bends. And the speed limit at the time was 2 miles per hour. So... <laughs> He was what going a eight. Rebel. What evil, a fucking rebel. Evil Knievel, that guy. Speaking of speeding. Just in comparison, just, just to show comparison, four times the speed limit over by my house, that would be 280 miles an hour. Yeah, that's like a super duper speeder ticket. He's going to jail. Well, fuck he's, David. He's fucking losing his license and all of that shit. Thanks for interrupting my segue, but <clears throat> speaking of speeding... We Dude, got... Can you imagine how many times he got screwed in jail? We got Literally. Toros. <laughs> yeah. Toros okay, is I'm also playing. a horny Pokemon. With uh, <laughs> being the bull Pokemon. With the abilities to intimidate angry point. Anger, anger, anger point. <laughs> Sheer force. I wrote angry on the thing. It's typing it is normal. Stats are HP 75. Attack 100. Oh. Defense 95. Special attack 40. Special defense 70 and speed of 110. Oh, the Pokemon. Now keep on going. You do a good job. No, good. I, I already introduced it. What is y'all guys' favorite anime moment with this fucking thing? I liked where Ash cut a whole horde of them, but we didn't get to see that happen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to see that until I was, I think. 14, 15, maybe later. Yeah, the episode was banned in the United States for a while because I guess that was an episode where they had guns pointed on the main characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we know how four kids is with guns. <laughs> Insert Yu-Gi-Oh here. Yeah, everybody's hands just curled a little bit if they're holding something. <laughs> Handguns. Very intimidating. So here's the weird thing. I got a list of like all the appearance Taurus was in, and it's missing kind of an important one. Because if I recall directly, uh, correctly, it was Ooh. in several of uh, it was in the uh, the Orange League, I believe. I think there was a match with it, and then it also was in the uh, Orange Islands <clears throat> that uh, battle against that dragon 
guy. Yeah, a Venusaur the, body right? slammed, or a, yeah, Venusaur body slammed it, and it, like caught it because they were on the sand, so the body <clears> slam was <throat> ineffective. Yeah, like, well, Taurus is pretty cool. Like he he gets some wins. I don't know if it's the same Tauros because he caught thirty of them. Mm. He always uses the same one. <laughs> it's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> It has, but, an extra, I mean, it has an extra bead on its forehead. That's how he knows which one he's using. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> but I love Tauros. I never used the Wait, one really? personally, though. I mean, Tauros kind of fit the my philosophy when I was younger, because I always wanted quick Pokemon that hit hard, and with an attack of 100 and speed of 110, that actually is pretty good. Yeah, it was one of the top threats in... Uh, Red and blue uh, tournament play. Because, I mean, if you look at it, it only has one weakness, which is fighting. So. And I think its special defense wasn't too bad either, because, you know, it's com special was combined to back then. Yeah. So, Taurus was a force to be reckoned with. Now, here's the interesting thing uh, all Tauruses are, Tauros is, is male. Yeah, I didn't know that until recently. Yep. But you didn't know Night of Queens were all female. <laughs> it's that. kind of the same thing with those two, like how Nido King and Nido Queen are counterparts, but they can't breed. Same with Tauros and Miltank. I just think that's weird. That is weird. Yeah, I guess that is. Yeah, that is kind of weird. So what but do you breed a Tauros with? Other than a ditto. ditto. Other ditto. than a ditto. You don't. I'm sure there's others that they could breed with, but that's... I mean, you can breed them together, but that's kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. not wrong about that. But how would Ditto make a female one if they don't exist? We don't ask questions like that. Game Freak's head will explode. <laughs> don't tell me no lies and you can to yourself. That's the philosophy <laughs> we're going with. Oh, um, in-game moment for me is uh, when that guy... X and Y is like, I like to bury my face in Koro's name. <laughs> wow, it's like, good lord. <laughs> it, it's like, what the fuck kind of sus shit is that? Now I know how Incineroar was made. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, there's a universe out there where main means butthole, so be wary. Oh lord. Incineroar used I don't... to be a four legged Pokemon until Furry <laughs> came about. Imagine if uh, Tauros is mega, it gets a mega evolution and it's like a two legged man thing. Like a Minotaur? Yeah. Mighty Minotaur. That's fucking weird, honestly. To see Tauros standing up. I think it'd be pretty cool. Oh, really? That's weird? You know, because Pokemon? Yeah, that would be the weird thing. Right. Because <laughs> something that's supposed to be on four legs can suddenly. Just jump on two? Yeah, that's the weird thing? Okay. I mean, just after all the years of seeing Tauros as it is. Like you know, an actual fetus with arms growing out of its side. That's not weird, but uh, <laughs> the Tauros that can suddenly stand on two legs, that's where it crosses the line. <laughs> okay, I got you. Well, yeah, the fetus Dude. thing is automatic. It's like, it, it grows in real life, so why not grow in Pokemon? Oh, yeah, let's not also forget the ghost that's from a kid that died in the forest. Yeah, that's not weird either. Oh, I love that. The shiny bird. Alright. Anyone got some fun facts about Tauros? Other than the fact <laughs> that it has three tails? <clears throat> okay, I got this. I, I, I got it. We really got the attention of our viewers right now. I can feel it. Tauros is a quadro... Uh, pa, uh. <laughs> Oh my god, these are big He's words. He's got it, guys. He's got it. Got it. I'm definitely not reading this. Tauros is a bovine Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. Um, so it's covered in a light brown fur with thicker dark brown mane around its neck. It has a rounded muzzle with a dark brown nose, small triangular eyes, and three gray bumps running vertically down its forehead, which Joe did mention something like that, and a pair of curved gray horns that grow atop of its head. Each of its three black tails have a tough on fur on the end, and there is a single gray hoof on each foot. 
and they're very rowdy. That's my impression of Cora. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Damn, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Coca Cola either. <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking like an eight ball. I thought we were clear. No, I'm just kidding. said you owe me coke, damn <laughs> All right. Well, Man. this ferocious Pokemon is about to be put to the test as we start battling now. All right. Let's go ahead and get to these battles. I guess we'll start with GS Kamikaze versus GS Gold. Anya. 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 Okay, so we gotta do this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There's a whole lot of this going on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm almost there, oh, man. Uh, I gotta change in a burger. In a burger. I gotta name my team too. All right. All right. All right. Fuck. Fuck. But don't don't do that. <laughs> I wonder right. which one of you <laughs> DJs nicknamed your Tauros horny or something. Oh, I don't probably know. Gems. You got me. It's okay, Guilty. we know Jim. I'm a little more, <laughs> I'm a little more than that. I believe him. Okay, there we go. Alright. Well, if y'all are on YouTube, you can see the things on the screen. And... If you're on Spotify, we're just going to name off what these guys have. And if you want to know their sets, check us out on YouTube. All right. So we have GS Kamikaze's team with Tauros, Camerup, Araquanid, Exector, Alola, Glass Steerier, and Deoxys Defense. Then we have GS Gold's team with Tauros, Salazzle, Tyrantrum, Braviary, Sylveon, and Arachnid. Yeah. Let the battle begin. I knew Salazzle was coming. I almost made the team with that just because I knew that was what you're fucking talking about. All right. <laughs> Golden Butt Plug is on the field for GS Kamikaze. <laughs> and Sylveon is on the field for GS Gold. Nope. Oh. Oh. oh Sylveon with the magic oh. code deflecting the toxic oh, back to Golden no. Butt Plug. <laughs> By the way, it's the Oxy's defense the golden butt plug is. The fat butt plug. Alright. What will David do here? <laughs> Jesse switches out to Salazzle as Golden Butt Plug gets the trick room up. This is not a good area for Salazzle here. Golden Butt Plug switches out to Spoopy. And Salazzo hides behind the sub. Three turns of Trick Room left. Oh, he's just going to sub up four times. Spoopy went ahead and did a liquidation into the sub. Knocks it out. And Salazzo goes for the Toxic on Spoopy, the Araquanid. And it is now poisoned. And still two more turns of Trick Room. Salazzle gets off of Protect and Spoopy goes Toxic, predicting a switch that did not happen. One last turn of Trick Room. Toxic stalling with such a slender, fast Pokemon. Oh, a there we go. it <laughs> comes out in front of Spoopy yes. and gets the Liquidation off, gets a Defense Drop, and they're both sitting at about 75%. And also, guys, so y'all know, if it's a nicknamed Pokemon, it's David's team. And if it's not a nicknamed Pokemon, it's uh, just... <laughs> uh, yeah. He nicknamed him once. I did. Yeah, he did. One singular time. Once in a long time. I like time. this staring contest between these Araquanids. It's really cool. Okay. All right, Araquanid <laughs> switches out and Spoopy gets the attack drop from uh, Intimidate, but he does get a Toxic off onto the Tauros. Now Tauros is going to go for Wild Charge. <laughs> uh, Spoopy 
switches out to Zaza. Whoa, whoa. Who, that with is the nice. facade, takes it down below half. Mm, that was good. I like that. It was. Zaza switches out as Golden Butt Plug comes in, and facade almost takes it down to half, but leftovers will gain some HP back. Toro switches out and Salazzle comes in as Golden Butt Plug recovers. <laughs> Salazzle's like, mm, give me that Golden Butt Plug. Golden Butt Plug goes for the Stealth Rock, and Salazzle goes for a substitute. And Salazzle hits the Toxic on Golden Butt Plug as Golden Butt Plug resets Trick Room. Four turns to go. Poopy. All right, and Spoopy comes in. The last one goes protect, but doesn't work since it was on the switch out. And Spoopy is taking that toxic damage. Three turns of trick room left to go. Spoopy goes for sticky webs and gets disabled by Salazzle. So it can no longer use sticky webs again. Spoopy breaks the sub and Salazzle sets a new one up. <laughs> oh, I hate this one. <laughs> I told you. Salazzle no goes to protect and Spoopy goes liquidation, so the sub's still up. Last turn of Trick Room. Spoopy's gonna go down next turn to Toxic no matter what. But David does have all those hazards on Jesse's side. Just get, you have to get him to want to switch that Salazzle out of the problem. <laughs> Salazzle goes for Toxic and Spoopy kills that substitute, but now it's going to go down to Toxic. The Poopy, Chip Poopy, is playing it once again. All right, Whippet is coming in, the Tauros versus the Salazzle. And this is where the speed here can be crucial. And Whip is Dynamax is here as Salazzle goes for Protect. And Whip it gets its defense buff from a max skill spike. Alright, so Max Quake goes off into Salazzle, boosts his special defense as Salazzle did something. Hmm, something. Didn't show. Not that I, not that I saw. But Salazzle goes for substitute and Whippet takes out the sub again and also boosts its special defense again. But now Dynamax is no longer usable. Salazzle is protecting here as Whippet works up. All right, so Lazo goes for the Toxic, Whippet goes for the Earthquake, finally takes down that Salazzle that's been giving him some problems, and this Tauros is pretty set up right now. Braviary comes in with the Heavy Duty Boots, because it doesn't take damage from Rock. Let's see if Whippets can take this thing down here. Chipoopy. What's the matter, trainer? <laughs> Come on. Braviary Dynamax is here as Whippet goes for the Iron Head. Braviary goes for the Max Knuckle. Almost takes it out. And Toxic doesn't quite take it out either. So it looks like Braviary is going to have to take another hit here before Tauros goes down. Close combat into the Braviary, dropping it to 26%. And Tauros dies to its own life orb, so Braviary isn't able to get that max airstream off. 
Not that he needs it. The rest of David's team looks pretty slow. Pretty slur. Go for sure. Golden Butt Plug comes out. Toxic as ever. Versus Braviary, who still has last turn of Dynamax. Max Butterbeast comes off from Braviary. And down goes Golden Butt Plug. Jesse is in David's head right now. Man, you're not supposed to rip the butt <laughs> plug out that much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kent Dynamax comes in, the glass carrier. <laughs> and Braviary is sitting on the other side, plus one attack. Braviary goes for the defog. And nice. Kent Dynamax goes for Icicle Crash. Chilling near. I'm guessing Jesse didn't think he could take out the glass carrier there. And chose to get the hazards off the field. As Sylveon comes in versus Cant Dynamax, who's sitting at plus one attack. <laughs> Sylveon Damn. uses the throat spray and how, how slow is Glass Deer? <laughs> Pretty fucking slow. And Glass Deer takes out Sylveon now and is on a tear with seventy one percent left health. Times two attack though. Yeah, times to attack, lower evasion. So that rockhead might be able to hit better. Araquanid comes in though, versus Cant Dynamax. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, yeah, I forgot that uh, that big T Rex gets rockhead stab. That's scary. It is. It is scary. Araquanid outspeeds Glass Jerrier and knocks it down to 25%. Glass Jerrier, even at plus two, could not quite take out that Araquanid. He thinks thick. He's a thick ass boy. Liquidation takes down the Icy Horse. And now Zaza, the Alolan Executor, comes in. What kind of three year old nickname is that? I don't know. <laughs> But Iraq when he go ahead and uses the leech life and takes out the Alolan Executor. Now and that's I'm GG. coming. The camera. <laughs> <up there. laughs> and Iraq when it is a liquidation away. <laughs> Wait, can you just switch out so I can do this move one time? No. Just for the. No. Nope. I just want to do it once. Just switch nope. out once. You're gonna beat me. Nope. Just let me do it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay. He didn't do it. No, nope. psych. <laughs> they psych right now. Mega Evolution goes down to liquidation, and that is it for round one. Jeez. David is out again. Ooh, Ooh he's, he's arriving. <laughs> he's arriving. <laughs> All right, Dusty, you ready for me to send? Yeah. All right. Dusty just slapped this team together, so I'm uh, probably gonna lose. But he didn't slap it that hard because if he, he did slap it too hard, the police probably would have been called. So mm -hmm. they're arriving. They're arriving. <laughs> all right, Jesse, all you. I'm waiting for the team to pull up. Okay, so with my first time, Dave, uh, actually saying Dusty's team, he's brought uh, not a team from this tier, but we'll let it go. Um, he's got Venusaur, <laughs> Torkoal, Chansey, Charizard, Tauros, and Zertree. And Zamora Gaming Joe has got Tauros, Cincino, Swello, Porygon, Tu, Drampa, and Ditto. <clears throat> Interesting team. I like that. Yeah, I decided to go Mono. I see. Respectable. I'm actually surprised no one brought a ghost. Yeah, because right? of yeah, Tauros. I, I'm I was gonna bring in comes up Toro really the Taurus for Joe through. versus Dusty Zerk Tree. And we got a Volt Switch from Dusty. Does a good chunk of damage, takes down El Toro to about a third. Oh, that thing scarfed like a mug. And in comes Torkoal. Who eats a body slam, takes it down to about, uh, it's about 72% right now. And 
El Toro uses Earthquake, does some good damage with the Life Orb, and Dusty puts some rocks down. And he does another Body Slam, doesn't take him out, and Torkoal gets the Revenge Kill on El Toro with Torkoal at 9%, and the Sun is out, and the rocks are out. Sun's out, Bun's out. And guns, I think. In comes Swallow, Tweety. In with a facade, which is enough to take him out. And now he's burnt, so that facade will be doing even more damage. And in comes Zerk Tree. I believe Joe called him a scarfed motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't fit that in the nicknames, I'm sorry. In comes Porygon 2, Smooth AF. Gets that download to get a boost in its special attack, and it's down to 65% from the rocks and the volt switch. And in comes Chansey. Yeah, we all love seeing that thing. Great. Mm -hmm. And this battle has two of my favorite Pokemon. In comes a Thunder Wave from Porygon 2 and paralyzes Chansey and it can't move. In comes Swallow. And Chansey tries a Thunder Wave, but that won't work on Tweety. And Tweety Dynamaxes and uses a max airstream that takes Chansey down to half. Chansey uses a seismic toss, which does some damage, but not enough. Swallow's at 22%. And uh, Max Flutter B to just bust his load all over Chansey. Doesn't finish it off, <laughs> and unfortunately, the burn does. Damn. He tried yeah. to take a chance. <laughs> he took a chance. Ah. And in comes Drampa, Drampa, Snoop Drago. And he uses a hyper voice, which is. Just enough to take Chansey down. And with that sp throat spray, it's getting a little boost in its special attack. A little boost. A little boost. A little boost. It's got a boost. Don't need the boost to get through. He's a boost. In comes the Tauros for Dusty. And we got a D-Max Tauros. Uses Max Strike and takes a lot. Oh, but we got a Berserk. And that takes a lot of damage out of Tauros. Down to 11%. And he's able to take him, take him out with another Max Strike. But he's down to 6% because of his Life Orb. And in comes Ditto back at ya. And Ditto uses a rock slide and takes out that Tauros, and we're three and three all. In comes Venusaur. Penisaur. Venusaur. The biggest. That was, um, in comes yeah. Horygon Zoo for Joe. And Dusty switches to Zerk Tree. And Dusty uses another Volt Switch. Takes Smooth as AF. Smooth AF. Smaf. 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 <laughs> and in comes Charizard, and we got a Trick Room. Does he have the Bolt Beam coverage? Or does he have Recover? Oh, we got a Drought from Charizard. And a Tri Attack it only takes a third down. And that flamethrower from Charizard's enough to take out Porygon. Uh, 
And in comes Ditto back at you. The nice Scarf Ditto. Treat. And Dusty's Charizard uses Air Cutter while Ditto uses a Flamethrower. Ditto's at 38% while Charizard's at 23%. And another oh, air cutter. Oh, it does not take him oh out. Oh, my lord. Oh, we got a Zerk tree. Oh, boy. And Volt Switch finishes off Ditto. Ooh. And unfortunately, Turk Room <sighs> and Yes before he can get Sensinu out, whose name is Flinchino. <laughs> uh, and Sleep Powder comes in, and I think that's going to be game. Unless somehow Chinchino can get out. Wake up, you son of a bitch. Oh, this is not looking Ooh. good. Chinchino's at 7%. It woke up. It's triple axling. Is it enough? Oh, 5%. Oh, so no, shy. Nope, but it doesn't matter because it's from Dark Tree. It's yeah, Dark Tree was dark anyway. Awesome. But it was pretty close, and that is game. Noise. Noise. Fuck you, this. Very Fuck noise. GG. GG's. <laughs> All right, now we got GS Gold versus Dusty. This gonna be fun. Jesse trying to get his third <laughs> win, and Dusty, who's just here to have fun, but most likely <laughs> wants to beat Jesse. With his OU ass team. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, we got GS Gold versus Dusty. Y'all know the teams. Let's see how they do. Tyrantrum comes out against Chansey. Hmm. Hmm. What will the first turn be? Tyrantrum didn't get to showcase last last battle. And Tyrantrum goes Dragon Dance as Chansey goes Thunder Wave. Hmm. I don't really have anything for that. Tyrantrum oh, goes for another master. Dragon Dance, and Chansey's going Stealth Rock. Watch, I'm going to get a, a Paralyze. Is he fully Paralyzed? He gets a Dragon Ooh. Claw off on Chansey, knocks it below half, and Chansey goes for the Seismic Toss. Tyrantrum just takes out the Chansey here. And sitting at plus two on attack and basically neutral speed. Circuitry comes in with a dazzling gleam oh and Tyrantrum Lord. goes down. The so Lazzle comes <laughs> in. Every time I see Zerkchi, I'm like, oh, why didn't I use that? I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's why. Salazzle goes for Substitute as Zerkatry switches out. Venusaur comes in without Sun. Salazzle goes for Protect. And Venusaur goes Earth Power here. Salazzle getting some of that back. Gets the Ooh. Disable off on Venusaur. Earth Power is no longer usable. And slowly Salazzle is gaining health back. <laughs> So Lazzle goes yeah. ahead and toxics the Venusaur. This is the only time you'll see it here, folks. <laughs> A toxic Venusaur as Venusaur finally sludge bombs and takes out the Lazzle's substitute. Venusaur swaps out as Tauros comes in and Ooh. the goes for the substitute once again. I've never seen someone use such defensive Salazzle. I have. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Yeah. Toxic goes off into Tauros. 
and Tauros goes for his Zen headbutt. The Lazo goes protect and Zen headbutt goes off again. Uh, Toxic is going to start building now. So Lazo goes for the substitute as Tauros is going to go oh, for a Zen headbutt and oh miss. There it is. There's that dusty luck, man. Yep. Yeah, what was we're I waiting doing, for? Uh, in uh, double ranked battles last night, uh, God, who was I using? Just a second. Let me pull it up on my DS because I got so enraged. Oh, it was Cinderace missed with high jump kick and then missed with bounce. I'm like, right oh. now. <laughs> oh no. So Lazo goes for the disable and Toros can no longer use Zen Headbutt. Goes for Rock Slide, but Lazo protects. So Protect, Sub, and Toxic is really putting the dent in Dusty's team. So Lazo goes for Toxic again, but uh, Toros is just going to go down here and break the sub on Lazo. Zerkatry comes in here to stop the shenanigans. <laughs> Volt switch goes off into Salazzle and it lives on 6%. These Pokemon love their trainers because they are just hanging on for dear life. Yep, good job. Venusaur comes in and Salazzle goes for Toxic and gets back to 12% thanks to the Black Sludge. Venusaur gains some health back, but Toxic takes it back down. Salazzle goes out and Braviary takes the Earth Power. Is this where it ends? Venusaur is toxic. Braviary mm. So that X. thing is wearing heavy duty boots then? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got boots on its claws. <laughs> Timberlands. <laughs> now it can't use Timberland. crushed claws. It... <laughs> Timberland pros to be exact. Alright. Well, Braviary versus Venusaur seems like a disadvantage Ooh. for Dusty, but we will see. Like, does it wear a, one boot on uh, each uh, claw uh, over top of everything? Or so does it's it got wear like six boot? boots? <laughs> yeah. Like one on each claw. <laughs> no, it wears the boot on its head. Just one boot. Like that one dude who ran for president a bunch? <laughs> Kanye? <laughs> Braviary goes for the max airstream, gets a speed boost on Venusaur, and Zerkatry now comes in. Is it a weakness policy? No, it's got boots on. I know, I was just kidding. Figure I it out. Because <laughs> it's probably going to survive whenever I do it. Volt switch goes off into Braviary. Oh, damn, and that would have killed me. Torkoal comes in now and brings out the Drought. Max Airstream again from the Braviary, and now it might outspeed Zerkatry when it comes back in. If <clears throat> it lives. Braviary versus Torkoal here. What will he do? Braviary goes for the max knuckle. Doesn't really do much. Probably shouldn't have done that. And eruption. Oh. Critical hit. And Braviary still lives on 6%. Hmm. Do I want to get greedy? Put on for my city. CS Gold is looking... To hit this sparkle, but he did say he's gonna get greedy. Nah. Braviary goes defog, he's gonna let Braviary go down here and takes an eruption. Oh, he's arriving as a rack when it comes in in front of Torkoal. Sun is still out. <laughs> He's arriving. He's arriving. What's Iraq going on? when it goes stockpile to boost both defenses. Torkoal gets the stealth rocks off. <coughs> Torkoal switches out as Iraq when it goes for stockpile once again. Oh, you're, that was smart. 
Zerk the oh tree gets a critical oh, hit. Kidding me. Volt switch kill on the <laughs> Raquinid that so that dusty luck is turned around. It is now 3-3 as Charizard comes in and Tauros is here. And it's really a 3-2 because Salazzle's not gonna live the rocks as it comes out of the Pokeball. See if this works. Mega Charizard Y. And Whoa. Retaliate oh. takes it out. I love that move. It is now 2-2 two, two as Zerkatry comes in. So Lazo is going to be foddered moves. off here. Retaliate. I've never been able to make it useful for me. I use it on my Durant. It's a really good move, too. All right, Tauros comes back in and goes oh, down to the oh Bolt Switch. Lord. That Zerkatry is a fucking beast. God, I love Zerkatry. Torkoal comes in, gains some leftovers. Sylveon comes in and it has that throat spray. Most likely he's gonna go for a hyper voice here. Hyper voice goes off and doesn't do much to the Torkoal, but now it is sitting at plus one special attack. Torkoal goes ahead and gets off an eruption, but also doesn't do much due to its health being meant in the middle. And Torkoal Dynamax is here as Sylveon goes for Wish. Max Strike comes off. Doesn't do much, but it does slow Sylveon down. Hyper Voice goes off and gets a critical hit, but still not enough to take out Torkoal as Torkoal goes for the Max Knuckle here. And the Wish comes true for Sylveon and she gets he, he gets that health back. Sylveon goes for Wish again as Max Strike comes off to slow Sylveon down just a little bit more. Hyper Voice oh, yeah. will take out the Torkoal here and the Wish Ooh, will come close. through. It won't be close. And it is now a 1v1 Sylveon plus one special attack versus Zerka Tree. Scarf Zerka Tree at that. Oh. Oh, Thunderbolt oh doesn't do enough. As long as it doesn't crit. Oh my god. Oh, let's go. And with Damn. the epic comeback, Jesse GG, man. gets the win versus Dusty. <laughs> Damn, the Torkoal was bringing me back to life, too. <laughs> what was its fighting move? Uh, body press. Uh, body press, yeah. Oh, yeah, duh. I was having a brain fart because I knew what the max strike was. And I'm like, I can't figure out what the, <laughs> the max knuckle is. All right, Jesse, after we do. Primate next week. What is the next Pokemon you want to have done? Oh, let's see. We got Pidgeot, Radicate, Pharaoh, Arbok, Raichu, Sandslash, Clefable, Ninetales, Wigglytuff, Golbat, Wild Plume, Venomoth, Doug Trio, Persian, Gold Duck, Hitmonchan, Hitmon Lee, Marowak, Exeggutor, Electrode, Kingler, Hypno, Onyx, which is Little Cup, um, Cloyster, Dugon, Dodrio, Farfetch, Magneton, Slowbro, Rapidash, Golem, Tentacruel, Victory Bell, uh, Polyrath, Lick of Tongue, Weezing, Rhyhorn, I mean, sorry, Rhydon, uh, Chansey, Tangela, who's a little cup, Cedra, Seeking, Starmie, Mr. Mime, Scyther, Jinx, Electabuzz, Magmar, Pinsir, Lapras, Ditto, Flareon, Omastar, Snorlax, Articuno, I think... Zapdos. Haven't done Zapdos yet? No, we have not. We're doing Zapdos. Alright, Zapdos it is. Lives matter. <laughs> it was either that or maybe Scyther, but yeah, Zapdos. I wasn't sure if we did that one yet. Yeah, well, that, I think that's the last bird we have to do. Did we do? No, we have Articuno still to do too. Yeah, because Moltres we did with our guest, Steven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, I guys. thought you were going to name one of the first ones he said so that he said he went through the whole list for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> that is the podcast for this week. Please go ahead and rate, subscribe, like, everything in between. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.